In this lesson, we will be adding our website to Google Analytics so we could track all the visits coming from the various places. We will be able to see uh, where traffic is coming from, if it's coming from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any other source. We will be able to see how much time people are spending on our website on a certain pages, what is the bounce rate. As well, we will be able to see how many live users we have on our website at the moment and all other information which is associated to traffic which is coming to your website so if you want to have a successful website it doesn't matter if it's going to be a blog e-commerce store or any other type of website you must have Google Analytics otherwise you will not be able to track the traffic which is coming to your website and you will not be able to make some kind of conclusions which pages are performing well or which are performing worse so to install Google Analytics uh, you want to look for Google Analytics so once you have found this just click on it so you you will be asked to create an account so once you have created your account you have added the information you should be seeing similar window to this uh, of course you might not be seeing anything like that because you have not added any properties yet so you should go to admin section right here and you should see something like this so once you are here you should click create an account and just add account name so you can add the name of your website once you have done this just scroll to the bottom and click next select web click next and enter your website name just paste the URL of your website select your industry and choose time zone so choose your time zone once you have done this just click create so you'll have to accept these terms and conditions click accept and let's click here and right here you will get your code so your tracking code is right here and you want to copy this code so just copy this code and now we should go back to our WordPress website let's go to dashboard and from here we will have to install one plugin so let's go to plugins click add new and in the search bar type analytics as you can see there are plenty of plugins available which can help you track uh, visits to your website uh, but i'm going to show you one plugin which i use myself so you want to install this plugin ga google analytics so just install it and activate it so all right once you have installed this plugin uh, we should go to settings section and right here you should see google analytics click on it and all you have to do is just click plugin settings and in this section we have to paste our tracking id which we copied previously just paste it and select global site tag all right once you have done this just click save changes and before we go back to google analytics you can purge the cache once you hover right here just click purge all and let's go back to google analytics all right so this is where we left and now we can go to home page of google analytics once you click right here uh, so as you can see we are getting live data we have one active user so that one active user is me of course we can do some changes and disable tracking for ourselves but before we do this i just want to walk you through some of the most important sections in this section you will see the live users so as you can see right now we have one live user and you can check more data in real time once you click right here and you click overview so we are getting more information and we can see which page has active users we you can see where they are coming from so as you can see it's being displayed in the map you can check the locations so in audience section you will be able to see your users the traffic how many sessions you had what is the average time spent on your website and as you can see you will see the language the country the city where your visitors are coming from when you are starting out you should explore analytics yourself to see how it works when I use Google Analytics there are a lot of different data elements which I use myself uh, since I run an e-commerce store there are more information which is relevant to me but if you are running a blog and let's say you can check the pages which are bringing you the most traffic and to do this you would have to go to acquisition click all traffic click channels and once you're here you will be able to see where the traffic is coming from in this section it's going to show you organic traffic social media traffic uh, referral traffic direct traffic so once you click on let's say on the social media traffic it's going to show you more information in depth so you will be able to see if this traffic is coming from Facebook if it's coming from Pinterest Instagram Twitter Reddit or any other source so yeah you'll be able to check where the traffic 
traffic is coming from as well you will see how many users you got how much time they spent on your website and by selecting the secondary dimensions you will be able to see more information for example in commonly used you can click on the landing page and you will be able to see which page is bringing you the most traffic from a certain source if it's uh, organic if it's uh, social media and uh, if it's a social media you will be able to check which social platform is bringing you the most traffic so you will be able to see all these settings right here and once you click right here you can go to users and let's say you can select age browser country city or any other secondary dimension and you will be able to see traffic which is coming to your website by the country by the age or any other secondary dimension and once you are in the home section as I said before right here you will be able to see live users in this section you will get the summary of the last seven days you can change to any other time frame in this section you will be able to see how much traffic uh, you are getting by the day so it's going to be displayed right here and where this traffic is coming from if it's coming from organic sources if it's coming from social media and uh, direct visits if you are getting direct visits or any other in this section you will see uh, which country is bringing you the most traffic in this section you will see users by the time of the day so at what time of the day you are getting the most traffic so right now we don't see any information because it's a new website but once you will start getting traffic you will be able to check all the information and don't be afraid to Explore everything yourself and just check what information is the most relevant to you so like I said we can also disable tracking for ourselves so to do this we would have to go back to our dashboard and let's go to settings section and let's click Google Analytics so plugin settings and if you don't want to be tracked with analytics you would have to go down to the bottom and you would have to click disable tracking of admin level users so click right here and just click save from now on your visits will not be tracked on google analytics and it's good because you will know the real traffic which is coming to your website so this is how you add your website to google analytics and if you would like to learn more about google analytics i highly recommend you to go google analytics academy where you will be able to learn way more about analytics in depth by taking free courses as you can see there's a lot of information information about analytics which you can learn for free so if you want if you are interested in I highly recommend you to go to Google Analytics Academy to learn more about it